All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are back with another video. Yep. Today we are going to be watching Superman Returns. Mm -hmm. I have seen this movie probably like a million times growing up. I had mm -hmm. the DVD and mm -hmm. the, it's so scratched. It doesn't work anymore because I just used it so many times. It was on constant repeat at my house. Mm -hmm. And it, this was like my favorite movie growing up. But quite a few years back, uh, probably at least like seven years ago, I rewatched it and I'm like, you know what, this is not as good as I remember it. So I kind of just forgot about the movie and moved on, you know, found Man of Steel. Mm -hmm. And um, so I haven't seen it for so long and I've really been wanting to revisit it to see if my opinion has changed on it again. Mm -hmm. You know, and Jacob here has never seen the movie before nope. and I really want to get his opinion on it. So I think let's watch it, dude. Yeah. Let's see how it is. All right, guys. We will uh, catch you guys at the end of the movie. All right. You wrote that the world doesn't need a savior. But every day I hear people crying for one. All right, guys. So we just finished watching Superman Returns, and I am so happy to say that I really, really like this movie so Me. much more than I was expecting. I mean, I was expecting it to be boring because that was my opinion of it the last time I saw it, like seven or eight years ago. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But, oh my God, rewatching it, I'm so glad that we did rewatch it. This is definitely one of the best Superman films ever made. Probably. I mean, like... I would say... It's not better than Superman 1 or 2 or Man of Steel. Yeah. But... It is certainly way better than Superman 3 and 4. Mm -hmm. There's not really... Batman v Superman, I don't know if you would even count that as a Superman movie. <laughs> uh, I mean, nah, I wouldn't, but I haven't seen uh, any of the um, original anthology films, but um, yeah, it was, it was. I didn't know those two before we um, we watched it. It's It takes place after two. Um, yeah, it takes place after two, and they're disregarding three and four. Yeah, I thought this would have been um, taking place after um, all four films, and uh yeah, so this was my first time watching the film, and um, it was really, really, really good. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, um, and I was very surprised, truly. Um, some of the standout things for me for the film, and uh, real quick, this is going to be, we're going to talk about spoilers. Um, this is an old film. You know, if you guys haven't seen it, you know, feel free to watch it. It's on HBO Max. That's how we watch it. Feel free to watch it. Come you back. You can buy it on Amazon for 99 cents. Yeah. DVD, so. Yeah, it's, it's a great movie. I, I definitely want to own it. Uh, me and him were like, you know, I want to get it. And I hope it gets a 4K. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. I'm assuming it will. Um, but to go ahead and get into some, you know, plots and stuff, uh, spoilers of, of the film. Um, it was really good. I like what they did with Lex Luthor in this film. I really do. Uh, I like the end, like, fight scene. It was very entertaining. You know, you just seen Superman get just beat the crap out. It was out. very hard. It was difficult to watch. Yeah. Because I love Superman so much, and mm -hmm. to see him get the crap beat out of him by all these normal guys who yeah. aren't Zod or anything like that. Exactly. You know? Yeah. I, I, it was a tough scene, but uh, it was great. It was well made. You know, it was well uh, well filmed. The cinematography. Yeah. Just off yeah. the charts. That basically. is one thing about this film that just astounded me from like probably like one of the first scenes of the film was just the cinematography and the, like the color grading in this film looked incredible this film would look great in 4k it really would if it has a good transfer um yeah lois lane was great um she, i prefer this lois lane over amy adams lois lane um it's not in terms of actors but just the actual writing and what they did with the character yeah she had um, a lot more to do in this yeah movie. yeah she she had a lot more for sure um and another thing like the runtime I was really nervous at first because this is like a two and a half hour film, but it has a really, really nice pace. The runtime flies by, and mm -hmm. I thought this movie might have like overstayed its welcome uh, before we got into it because I looked at the runtime, but I was definitely wrong with that. Uh, the runtime deserves to have that, and um, yeah, it works well. It really does. I uh, love the idea of, of the, uh, the little kid, the son. Yeah, never. I've never seen that. Yeah, the mystery of who the father is. Yeah, who the, who Lois is with now. I believe his name was Richard. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Yeah, um, or Superman. And yeah, it turns out that he's Superman's it, son. 
Yeah, I'll he has a really great reveal. Like, Lois is in trouble, about to get attacked by one of Lex's goons. Mm -hmm. And her son just throws the piano across the room. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, it was so surprising. I, I mean, there's no way I could have guessed that. Not in a million years that he would have been his son. And um, they had a really good scene at the end of the film that he's like, you know, meeting him uh, while, yeah, while he's sleeping. Yeah, he was sleeping. quoting what his father said to him. Yeah, he said, yeah, he's quoting what Jor-El said, said to him. Yeah, um, just it had like so many like uplifting moments through it, like mm -hmm. with the cinematography, with him like being up in the sky and things like that. He, Brandon Ralph is a great Superman. I would yeah. maybe love to maybe one day see him return if he ever could. Like, I remember when I watched this, like, many, many years ago, I was like, like, after, you know, because this was my favorite film growing up as a child. Yeah, but as you got a little bit older, mm -hmm. yeah. I remember not really liking him as Superman when I wa when I rewatched it. Mm -hmm. But now, watching it again, I, I think he's really good. Yeah. Really yeah. good. This movie does not get the credit it deserves, honestly. No, no, and, and I've only seen it once, and I loved it, man. Uh... I think it has like seventy five percent of Rotten Tomatoes. Um, I, I would say that that's good. That, that that's deserved. fair. Yeah. If at, at most eighty percent, I would say. Yeah, yeah. It, it it's it just so much better than I thought because especially because you know every time we talk about you know Superman films, um, especially live action, you know that film always gets brought up. You know because you know he loved it as a kid. He saw it again. You know years later, didn't like it and everything and i was just like man you know well damn that kind of sucks you know the film isn't all that good but re-watching it you know it, it's good i still prefer man of steel i do um i know that's probably for, honestly i would think for most people that's probably pretty uh, pretty divisive i think most people would probably honestly prefer that yeah you know? probably because like the, th the thing with man of steel is that that superman isn't really the one that a lot of people grew up with exactly this one is closer to that yeah yeah i mean he he resembles christopher reeve mm -hmm. a lot i mean he looks a lot like him and um you know i don't care what anybody says nobody will beat him mm -hmm. as superman but he did a really good job um i definitely preferred him as superman instead of clark kent um but he did a fine job as clark kent for sure and um i was just really surprised but you know had good acting um Perry White had some funny scenes, and uh, Jimmy had probably like the funniest scene in the whole film. They're like eating, and then like he just makes a mess of himself because uh, like Lois walks through the door or something, and it was great. It was a really fun time, and um, yeah. One thing I didn't like about the movie, there, well, there's one scene that I didn't really like about the movie, um, and that and that's because it kind it kind of made Superman come off as a creep. Uh, mm -hmm. nearing the beginning of the movie, uh, when he, um, kind of, he's kind of checking in on Lois, mm -hmm. and he's just kind of, like, watching them from outside her house, just, mm -hmm. like, flying, they don't know he's there, and he's just watching them, listening in on their conversation. Yeah. I didn't really like that scene. Yeah. But yeah. there's so many really good scenes. There's two scenes that could, that kind of, like, teeter as my favorite, um, and that's, um... In the beginning, when he when he's first like when everybody finds out that Superman is back from his five years away, mm -hmm. um, when he saves the plane and then sets it in the baseball stadium and everybody's cheering like yeah, yeah. Superman, ah, oh, it gets the heart going. Yeah. You know, it's just it. I had a smile on my face ear to ear. I was yeah. Me and him were glued to the screen. That that whole plane sequence was incredible. Mm -hmm. um, another one of my favorite uh, aspects of the film was. Um, uh, Lois's husband, um, who was a pilot, and that was kind of cool because it actually helped towards the end of the film. Because yeah. if it wasn't for that, Superman would have died. Yeah, so. he would have drowned with the crypt after Lex stabbed him with the kryptonite. Yeah, very brutal scene. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a tough scene for sure, but it was it was done really well. I loved how he yeah. uh, he broke off the 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 kryptonite uh, to yeah. where it was stuck in him. Yeah, yep. And if it wasn't for Lois telling him to turn around to go get him, he would he would have died. Yeah, which you is know? crazy really good scene but mm -hmm. the other scene that I love so much is when uh, he's flying the island that Lex is building up into space yeah the kryptonite yes. is coming out he is forcing so much that's what I love so much about Superman honestly mm -hmm. like even though kryptonite is one of his biggest weaknesses yep. he can push through the pain and yep. and just keep doing what he needs to to get the job done yeah man. and um and then that whole scene where he's falling back into the earth atmosphere yeah. was beautiful yeah just 
uh, I really, really loved this movie. Yeah. I, I already want to rewatch it. Yeah, I, honestly, because, I mean, it feels like a 50-minute movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's two hours and 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it just, I was beyond surprised, for sure. Uh, I'm glad, you know, and, you know, uh, it sucked, you know, but, um, you know, Brown and Ralph probably kind of gets a lot of flack for the character, but, hey. At the end of the day, I think he did a good job. And yeah, it was really and, cool to see him re yeah. re reprise his role in uh, Crisis on Infinite mm -hmm. Earths on the Arrowverse. He did a good job there, too. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was great to see him. Um, I love the... Um, probably some of my favorite scenes or scene in the film was when he first kind of got back on Earth and he was uh, going through kind of the memories of, of him being a kid, using his powers and just, you know, having a fun time. And yeah, stuff. when he first... When he first, like, discovered that he can fly was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a really good scene. And, uh, yeah, the, the CG holds up, man. It does hold up really yeah. well, surprisingly. Surprisingly, yeah, for being a... And the of... quality of the film, and we watched it on HBO Max, a streaming service. This, the quality was really good. So I'm really curious to see how a 4K would look yeah. for this movie. I think a 4K transfer, if it's done right, would look incredible. That would be a day on one pickup, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you got anything else? Or? Uh, what would you rate it out of a five? What would I rate it out of a five? I would definitely give this film a four out of five. Um, I'm going to match you with that. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Four it, out of five. You know, it's not perfect. You know, it's not, not, it's not a masterpiece or nothing like that. You I want to say that it's close to my top ten, to be honest. Yeah. Which is so surprising, because, again, I did not like this movie for many years. Yeah, yeah. And... I have no idea where it would be, um, but in terms of comic book films, out of all the ones I've seen, th this one definitely, you know, I wouldn't say maybe, maybe not top 10, but definitely maybe like top 15, uh, for sure, like, it, it, it's, it's a fun movie, it really is, I'm glad I finally saw this, and I wanted to be here when he saw it again, because it's been so long, and I, I wanted to get his reaction to seeing it again after so many years, so. Big, stupid grin, ear to ear, watching this movie for me, man. Yeah. I'm glad you got to see it again, and um, we really enjoyed making this video. So, um, yeah, guys, that was um, our review for Superman Returns. Uh, we both really enjoyed it. It was incredible. And uh, so, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.